Hey guys, it's Mike from Cruise Bed Adventure here, and I'm back again with another cruise news story. Well, it's actually more of a, I guess, cruise etiquette story, if you will. Uh, hope you guys are having a great uh, start to your week. Uh, you know, I was sick all week last week. That's why I only was able to get out one video, So, but I'm feeling much better and uh, ready to get back at it again. And those of you who don't, may not know, I recently got off a cruise like a couple weeks ago from on the Harmony of the Seas out of Galveston. And it was my first uh, experience on the Oasis class ships. And it was my first time sailing out of the new terminal in Galveston. So I was pretty excited. And, you know, my previous couple of cruises, you know, I had uh, missed out on going to any of the shows. So I was looking forward to taking in a show on the Harmony of the Seas. So, you know, weeks prior, I had uh, went on the app and, you know, made reservations to some of the shows. And I actually had one lined up for uh, the very first night of the cruise, you know. So, you know, I made it down, got checked on the ship, uh, you know, had, had the, you know, enjoyed the sail away festivities, Just got settled into my room. And then I went down and, and uh, had dinner at uh, the Izumi Japanese Cuisine uh, Specialty Restaurant, which I was really uh, stoked about that. It's one of my favorite places to eat. And then after dinner, uh, you know, I got ready to uh, go to the theater and uh, check out the show. And it just so happened to be that uh, they were showing Grease that first night. And so I got down there a little bit early, got settled into my seat. And then things kind of, you know, took a wrong turn, if you will. So let me let me set the stage on what happened, and then we'll we'll discuss, you know, some of the some of the theater cruise theater et etiquette, you know, and and uh, you guys can maybe let me know what you think about it. But uh, so here's the scenario: you're 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 settling into your seat at the theater. And you notice that in the, the whole row in front of you is a bunch of empty seats, except for one person on one end and another person on the other end. And um, in essence, basically saving seats, a whole row of seats. And we're not talking about just one seat or a couple seats, you know. And, and you might ask, well, how do you know that they were doing that? Well, you know, these two individuals had kind of came together and one positioned themselves on one end and the other one at the other. And, of course, they were yelling back and forth to each other and, and the whole time. So, fast forward a little bit, about 15 minutes into the show, here comes a whole group of folks, uh, obviously late getting there. And, you know, they proceed to settle into the whole take up the whole row in front of us. And of course, you know, they're taking their time and they're being all loud and laughing and this, that, and the other carrying on to the point where I can't even see uh, the stage. I barely hear what's going on. And so, uh, you know, so finally they get settled in. And uh, so then now part of the, part of the, the folks, part of the group, you know, they, they brought, uh, some uh, very young kids. I mean, these were like toddlers, and uh, you know, and so they're, you know, you you take a two, three, or four year old to to an event like that, they're probably not going to maintain, you know, their attention on what's going on in the theater, and you know, they're they're gonna some, they got to look for some form of entertainment, and so you know, what do what do most parents you know, these days do, they hand the kid the phone, he's playing games, of course they got the volume up, and uh, and they're kind of, and the parents are kind of like playing around with the kids, and you know, almost totally oblivious to what's going on with the show, and you know, some people did kind of, you know, mention it to them, and of course that, that kicked up a little stir, uh, they didn't seem too happy that people were, you know, Telling them to be quiet for the show. I mean, my, you know, what, what were the odds on that? And so fast forward a little bit more. And now keep in mind, this is a, Grease was a 90-minute production. And the show started at 9.30. And so they were late, 15 minutes late getting there. 
And they stayed there for about 20 to 30 minutes, and then they decided, you know what, we're out of here. So now the whole gaggle of folks gets up and they're collecting their things. And, you know, once again, at this point, I can no longer see the stage of what's happening. can barely hear the music, what's going on. And, you know, it takes them two or three minutes and they finally are able to file on out. And then, of course, they had to make a couple trips back to because I guess they had forgotten some items. So, I mean, just a total, uh, you know... <laughs> total chaotic situation going on here in the theater and so that's basically what my topic for today is 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 uh, theater etiquette and uh, so you know first of all you know saving a whole row of seats I think is you know is kind of I don't know it, to me that's put that's that's kind of you know you get back to the chair hogs situ situation with saving deck chairs out on the Lido. Well, I think if you're, you, you know, if you've got a big group of people and you send a couple of folks down there, which tells me already that you know you're going to be late. Uh, and so you send those folks down there to claim a whole row of seats. I mean, I think that's a little bit much. And, and then, of course, 15 minutes, you know, into the show, you're showing up with this large group of folks I mean, you know, I, I get it. Things happen. Sometimes you maybe you're running late from dinner or maybe you had some other event happen. Sometimes things happen beyond your control. But, you know, I think, you know, a minute or two, maybe five minutes, but 15 minutes in and, and you, you, a, a group that size coming in and you're blocking the whole show. I mean, that's that's a little bit disruptive, disrespectful, if you ask me. I mean, that's just my opinion. I know it may be controversial, but that's just the way I see it, you know. Because uh, you got you should have respect for not, you know, not only the, the people that's trying to watch the show, but, I mean, you got the people that are trying to entertain folks. And, you know, that's a pretty, pretty good disruption, if you ask me. Uh, and then the second thing, you know, like I said, it was a 9.30 show, it's uh it's it, and it's a 90 minute show which means that it's not going to get done till uh you know almost what is it what, is it, what would that be like 11 30 11 o'clock you know close to midnight and you're bringing uh really young i mean we're not talking teenage uh type children or preteens. we're talking toddlers that you know we all know that they have a short attention span on on things and so they're not going to they're probably not going to sit still for that for that kind of a show and and uh and plus I mean Greece does have some pretty suggestive content in it you know I don't know if any of you guys have seen that show but uh I don't know I, I think I think maybe not bring uh that young a uh, uh, age of a child you know if you're going to bring children make sure that they're that they're ones that can uh that number one are going to actually be entertained by what's being on stage, and number two are 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 not going to be disruptive to everybody else. But I know that's that's controversial. I know I'm probably going to catch some flack for that, but hey, that's just my opinion. And then lastly, you know, you come for the show, you're 15 minutes late, and and then you know you only stayed for 20 30 minutes, and then you're bouncing again doubling the the disruption and the chaos so yeah i think you know if you were already late then you probably should just stay for the rest of the show i, I don't know it, it's i think you got to start thinking about other people in some of these scenarios and and uh but again those are just my thoughts uh you know my 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 etiquette is that i would probably try to be on time and try to ratchet down the disruption, not share hog and, and all of that, uh, not talk during the show, but, uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. You think I'm being, uh, out of line with, with any of this criticism or, uh, tips or all, all of that. Uh, have you encountered situations like this? Uh, you know, what, what do you do in those kind of situations? Um, let me know in the comments what you think about all that. And uh, with that, folks, uh, you know, if you like this kind of content, 
please consider hitting the thumbs up on the way out. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. 100% free, helps the channel grow, helps push the message out to the masses. And, you know, I always appreciate anybody that watches, subscribes, likes, shares, comments. And I hope you're having a good day. Hope you're enjoying whatever it is you're doing. And I will see you on the next video. Take care, everybody.